Well, hello everyone. So, I've been a little busy. Actually got the place cleaned up really nice. Um, I kind of showed you guys the wall before. That's pretty much the same. Been uh, taking pictures of doors and getting them online. This is the new door rack here. Um, I've been getting a lot of stuff cleaned up. I got someone coming to pick that up, hopefully on Thursday. And then everything else here is kind of all uh, set up for the most part. So I'm about to spend a little bit of money. And yeah, I'm gonna do something. So I went and bought me a, uh, a bicycle. This is a Sun bicycle. It's actually a pretty uh, interesting little thing. I bought this for $40 at um, Salvation Army. But it has a geared hub. So it has four speeds. But it doesn't have all the little things that's all inside. Um, Got to put some air in the tires. And I want to put some new grips on it. Because these are a little sticky. And I'm going to take off this here. And might do a little spray painting. But for the most part, it's a nice bike. So... And again, got this place here cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to be working on I'm going to actually take a break, go get some food, and then I'm going to come back and all this is going to be hopefully done. Um, but the big thing is I'm about to spend some money on my trailer. So I'm taking it over to a couple spots. I'm having the hubs redone. Um, I don't think I've ever redone the hubs, and I've had it since 2007. So I'm gonna have the hubs redone. Um, I'm gonna see about getting new tires all the way around and then keeping these as spares. I mean, it's like this one here, you know, got nails in it. I mean, these things are just full of like nails and I'm constantly putting air in them. So, and then the um, I tore off all the wood. That's everything from the trailer there, but I tore off all the, uh, the plywood that was on top. So things didn't fall through like glass and screws and the the underside because the plywood was on top the wood never had a chance to dry out and it just rotted and it was pressure treated it was ground contact pressure treated but it still just it went to crap so um the next iteration and i gotta take a grinder i gotta grind this off i'm gonna grind the other light off so as of right now i have the pricing which is in my budget to go up to four feet and basically build a shell all the way around it uh they're wanting to do l angle like it is here and they said it's structurally sound and they're going to weld it on top but i'm going to take it over there i got to take it over there twice i'm going to take it over and see if it's easier to take this off and do square tubing up just to make it a little bit stronger but it also double the weight or should i go all the way up to eight foot which would be right about here and then uh, that way I can enclose it and actually put a double door. A double door will fit back here. So I can make a double door where it swings out. And that way when the ramp is up, the door can't open. You know, so I don't have to worry about it flying open on me. So, or if we keep it the regular height, you know, if I only bring it up to the, uh, this is a four foot uh, ramp. So if I bring it up to the height, I still technically could build a double door here. But, I don't know, or I should do it up to 75 inches instead of 80 inches. And that way I can put a door frame sideways inside if I got to carry a double door. So, but yeah, it's, uh, that's a little bit of work. Wasn't real hard. So, in fact, I modified this trailer years ago because I drilled all these holes here to screw the wood. Because uh, the way you had to do these in the past is... Uh, you slide one in here. You got to bow it down and slide in the uh, front. But we uh, redid the L angle on the front when I bought it. I says, hey, I don't want that. I says, just weld in a piece of L angle on the front to where I can lay it flat down. And then that way, you know, may, I've redecked this trailer probably. This will be, I think, the fifth time, maybe fourth, but I think fifth time I've redecked it. So, but it's uh, it's been a hell of a trailer. You know, I mean, even after the accident, beat the shit out of the ramp, but the frame here is still somewhat straight. And, you know, this right here is bent right here where it kind of bends in. Here, I can show you better over here. 
but you see how it's bent behind the thing but they're going to fix all that and get all that done and then the new thing we're going to do is instead of the lights being down here we're going to put the lights up uh up high so i think that'll be better and then i'm going to use the lp smart side to side it all in and block it all in and you know and i'll probably be doing lp smart side on the bottom i'm, I'm gonna do the same thing it lasted i think six no five years since i redecked it last time it's been a while so i mean you know like the the pieces that were on the side they were barely holding i was that's the reason the last video that i had the windows on i had um like two by fours on the top kind of holding everything in and that was not hold on that wasn't really for the to hold the windows i was kind of hold the trailer together <laughs> and and basically screw the windows to the trailer because the trailer was on the verge of falling apart so but no everything uh i'm happy with it so but yeah i'm gonna redeck it new uh tires maybe even new rims um we'll see the uh price difference between because you could buy just rims and tires from the trailer store and uh i'm gonna get them to redo the hubs and uh then i'm gonna send it over to the weld shop and have them do all the welding i just want to see how much extra it would cost i really don't need to go above the four foot plane because that'd make it basically like a big bowl that might be good enough so and if i got to do a double door i could lay it flat if i have to so i just don't want to do that anyways but i'll see how much costs extra to go up to a certain height and uh you know if it works out it works if it doesn't it doesn't but i know i could do uh, 72 and put it in as an angle my old ice cream truck had a interior height of 72 and i was throwing double doors in that all the time also you know what holy cow i just thought of a crazy idea so i have this thing why didn't i ever think of that before all right hold on hold on hold on you guys are brainstorming with me here all right my old medieval door so i have oh it's aluminum but i have this behind the chain link i have this old uh door uh it's like a glass it's a piece for a glass truck and you can put doors on it and stuff like that and strap it to it i wonder if i can mount that to the trailer Ooh, that's intriguing intriguing all right <laughs> that's gonna be sorry guys i'm like brainstorming right now here big time all right that's that's a hell of an idea actually i may hook it up to my small trailer that way i have a pre-built rack i left my door open when it stormed earlier and all the rain came in but not a big deal in fact something's on fire the lightning was hitting really bad around here and i smell something burning so i'm assuming lightning hit something so but anyways it's been a very interesting day a lot of stuff getting done a lot of preparation for the future and yeah it's this uh I don't know if I showed y'all this, but I went trying to, this truck leaks as all my vehicles leak. And I tried sealing it up and it was on a, one of really, really hot days and it ended up leaking out onto the side of the truck. So now I had this cool liquid effect on my truck. So that, in fact, I got some more sealant over here somewhere that I'm gonna reseal it and then bring the truck inside and park it in here to let it cure up. So. But yeah, that's uh, that's the updates. Very happy about the shop. Very happy about getting the trailer ready. Uh, I'm just happy in general. So, peace, love, money. I'm out.